Welcome to my little DOS box tutorial for beginners. My last tutorial was crap, so I decided let's make a new one. Go to the website dosbox.com and download the emulator. The latest version is here. Download it for your operational system and then install the DOS box wherever you want on your hard disk drive. After the installation, open Start Programs DOS box. First, let's set up the DOS box by going into the options and clicking on DOS box options. Now a uh, editor will pop up in which you can make your changes. Let's define the emulation speed. So search for the CPU section inside the config file. There in the documentation you find everything you need. Here, core is the CPU core. It's the CPU type and the cycles. Cycles define how fast your emulation is. So if you don't have a very fast computer then put in max and everything works fine. If you run a too fast computer then put this to three hundred three thousand which determines the speed if the game is too fast then put it down in my case I let it max next one is search for the for the auto X lines lines in this section will be run at startup you can put your mount lines here so if you are from Russia Germany Poland or any other country you have to define the keyboard layout. In my case I am from Germany so I use the Cape GR code which loads my keyboard layout. If you are from any other country then search for your keyboard code on the internet and put a new line here. English residents don't need to have such a line. Next one is create a create a folder on your hard disk drive in which you install all your DOS games and mount it as partition C. In my case it is on F DOS game and will be mounted as the C drive. If you have a CD-ROM like virtual CD or an original CD inside your computer then use this line here. Mount D as the CD-ROM drive, in my case it's T with this little line or it won't run. It would be only mounted as an ordinary folder on your hard disk drive. The next one is I want to jump directly to the C drive so I put in the line C and I want to get a list of all the installed games on the C drive so I put in this dear line. With that just save the, uh, save the configuration file go to start programs DOSBox and DOSBox. These two windows will appear. This is a little status window which lists all the errors or any other information you need while running the program. So let's check. I defined the directory for the C drive in the configuration file fdosgame and it's mounted. I mounted my virtual CD-ROM drive T and it's mounted. Now I told DOSBox to change from the Z drive to the C drive and with the dire, uh, dire line I told him list me all folders on the C drive. Here you see all my games. Only the Dark, Tomb 2, Heretic, Max, Power Slave, Warcraft 1, 2 and Wolf Doom and many more. It can be different for your games. So let's start one of these games. But first we have to define the keys, so I push the control F1 key and the window changes to the key mapper. There you can change every key. So if you want to have typed in an A, when you push the T button, then just delete this one at A. And every time you push the T button, the A appears. So in reverse, you should delete the A as well and put in the T. Cool stuff. 
DOSBox also has an option to record games. So set up a hotkey for the video capture. And you can also cap MIDI files, which result on your hard disk drive as MIDI. So put in this as well. And save your configuration. And every time you should start DOSBox, this configuration will be used. Professional users create different key mapper files to have the right setup of keys for their game. So let's start a game. Let's start Doom 2. So put in CD Doom 2 and start the game. So let's start the recording by pushing the side hotkey. And you see in the window above, it's prepared for capturing raw MIDI files. And as soon as the first MIDI got played in the game, it will start the recording as well as the video capture at a capture folder. So let's try it. So this is the right stuff for your vanilla experience. Ever wanted to try to run the game just with the fist? I did it! Then you can do it! So let's stop the recording. And you see the recording was stopped and the MIDI file was saved. So let's exit the DOS box. Exit please. Now you need to install the video codec. So open start programs DOS box extras video install movie codec in Windows 7 and Vista, run this application as administrator or it won't be installed. And you can also see your recording. This is my recording. And you see it was recorded. Thank you for watching my DOSBox tutorial. Um, professional DOSBox users uh, got their knowledge by try and error, so if you want to increase your knowledge about DOSBox, try and error. It's really great to learn things by yourself. So for all the others, you can easily install games through this DOSBox, so if you put in the CD-ROM of a game and run the setup X inside the DOSBox, then you can insert the game normally how you did in the past with your DOS games. So that's for now. Goodbye.